Since the invention of photography, the Eiffel Tower has been immortalized from every angle, a symbol of Paris around the world. Thanks to BIM, Building Information Modeling, the collective memory of the Eiffel Tower has now been permanently captured in a new medium of 3D. The city of Paris used BIM to immortalize a 133-acre area, including the iconic tower, for Grand Side Tour Eiffel, an international design competition created in partnership with Autodesk. The resulting urban model is the largest of its kind in the world, containing 342 GB of point cloud data. It accurately represents every building road, tree and fountain on the site. The model was just created to immortalize the Eiffel Tower and its surrounding. It was used to renovate them as well. The competition brief was to modernize the visitor's experience of the Eiffel Tower area while respecting its history. Teams of architects, urban planners, engineers and landscape designers from around the globe were all encouraged to submit their designs. Each project needed to be based on a common digital model to ensure all teams could compete on equal topographical, technical and technological footings. Inside a virtual viewpoint, the challenge of creating this urban model for the competition was twofold. First candidates had to be able to view the landscape from every angle in order to properly modify it. Second project had to be open to public participation. Each had to offer the jury and Parisians alike a virtual reality VR tour of its potential new Eiffel Tower area. This allowed Parisians to provide feedback. Using scan to BIM methodology, several weeks were spent to map a 3D model. The capture information, expertise used LIDAR, land-based and mobile laser scanners, drones and even cameras perched on gondolas. The team then used photogrammetry to acquire a global point cloud representing a complete topography of the area. In addition to the site's heritage and symbolic nature, the acquisition of data for public use represented an unprecedented request, especially considering the scope of the project. A surveyor's precision was particularly valuable. The topography of 133 acres proved to be extremely complex. Every detail from gravel paths and fountains to the area, 425 benches, 560 light fixtures, 25 statues, 100 garbage cans, 1000 buildings and 8200 trees and flower beds all had to be recorded and textured. Hundreds of hours of data captured were processed. This resulted in a massive set of more than 10.3 billion points or 342 GB of point cloud data. Once this work was completed, the talents of the expertise were combined with those of Canadian engineering firm WSP, a specialist in 3D urban scale modeling. Processed in InfraWorks, the surveys extracted and rasterized nearly 200 point clouds, which were then used to generate two VR models using 3ds Max and Unreal Engine. Their mission was to produce a model that could be used by the architects and engineers applying for the competition. The aim was to help them understand the existing context while also serving as a basis of their projects. The final step was to present the project to the community. The public previewed designs and shared feedback 
on the dedicated site. Projects then went to jury. Following each competing team's final challenge, which involved oral presentation before the jury, the plan from agency Gustafsson Porter plus Bowman and its partners proved to be the most convincing proposal. The development of the area around the Eiffel Tower will take place between 2021 to 2023. The site will remain open to the public throughout this period so that world can witness the transformation of its most iconic spaces.